Hello, another one from the book along list and it's An Island by Karen Jennings. Uh, when I this first came, I, I didn't take a lot of notice of the cover and it was only later on that I realised that the island, I don't think you can see that, is a man's face. And on the back, you've got the same image, but sort of in darkness. And it made me think of the John Donne um, quote, no man is an island. Uh, because it is all to do with Samuel. And Samuel is 70 and he's been on the island for the past 23 years as a lighthouse keeper. It's set in an unnamed African country and it deals with the political changes after colonialism, um, uprisings, dictators. It deals with the whole political upheaval. And it's set in times that, yes, I think you will almost say that they are almost present, present day times because you've got the issue of refugees as well um, coming across in boats and drowning when the boats capsize. Because Samuel occasionally finds bodies on the beach, on the island that have been washed up. And these bodies he puts into a wall. He's got an, a wall around his island, it's almost keeping people out, keeping the sea out, keeping everybody out. And the bodies that he finds goes into the wall. One day he finds an unconscious man on, on the shore. And again, it's it must be one of the refugees because there's he can't understand him. There's no language that they can communicate with. And you have this uneasy alliance. The whole story takes place over four days. And it's an uneasy um, alliance between them because they can't communicate with each other. But Samuel, he, he takes him into the house. He... He feeds him, he gives him clothes. But the arrival of the man has triggered memories. And it's through these flashbacks, through these memories, that you find out about the man that Samuel was in his younger day. His father fought against the colonisers. He fought for the president and he got injured, damaged in the battles. And he lived his whole life expecting that the president would come into the slums and shake his hand and thank him for everything that he had done in getting him to the place where he was. And then you get the dictator taking over and you get Samuel's involvement as well and the dictator threw everybody that disagreed with him into the presence. So you get an idea of Samuel's character, how he's a weak man, really. Well, he sees himself as a weak man because he's always shied away from violence. And with the arrival of this this refugee that he can't communicate with, fears start to bubble up and he fears that the man is going to take his island away from him. This island that he's been on for 23 years is going to be taken away. And the man himself, you, you get the impression that he fears what Samuel is is going to do you this a a threat the whole time you know, who's is one of them going to hurt the other or it's it's a very fine balance it's a book that the ending i don't know whether the ending satisfied me or not it was an ending that i, I sort of expected but i don't know whether it was an ending that that i expected and whether it satisfied me.
it's not out of the five books that the book, uh, book, books from the long list that I've read so far. It's not my favourite. Um, I enjoyed reading it. It's a short book. It didn't doesn't take long to read, and you have all these ideas of political upheaval and the struggles that the ordinary people went through when there's regime changes. But, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how far this one goes. I'm on the next one now. I've just started uh, a town called Solace. So when I come back again, that will be the one that I'm talking to you about. So, and I think that's number six. I'm, I'm getting getting through them. Uh, it's, it's, I, enjoyed the, I enjoyed the read, but it's not one of my favourites. So I'll have to see how um, the others match up. So... Take care, happy reading, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.